people, plants, and animals live in different places or habitats all over the world. Habitats provide people, plants, and animals with the things they need to survive, including things like food, air, shelter, water, and space. People, plants, and animals that have similar needs live together in the same type of habitat. Hi, I'm Max Orbit, and I'm ready to explore the different animals and plants found all over the world. Let's go. Hey, grab a snorkel. The first type of habitat we're going to explore is the water habitat. The Earth's largest habitat is the deep blue sea. There, you'll find all kinds of strange-looking animals and plants uniquely adapted to life under the sea. Most of the Earth is covered by water, and there are two main types of water habitats, freshwater and saltwater. Freshwater habitats include ponds, swamps, lakes, and rivers. Each freshwater habitat is home to many different kinds of plants and animals. Some plants and animals have adapted to waters that flow very quickly while other plants and animals have adapted to water that remains still. The second type of water habitat is the ocean, or saltwater habitat. There are many types of plants and animals that live in the ocean. Plant life abounds under the sea, providing food and protection to the animals that live there. Sea animals come in all colors, shapes, and sizes. There are tiny seahorses, colorful starfish, and gigantic whales. Now it's time to play that wet and wild but never splashy trivia game, Know That Water Habitat. I will give you a question and then you choose the correct answer. Okay, let's begin. There are two types of water habitats. They are A, hot water and cold water, B, salt water and fresh water, C, muddy water and clear water, or D, None of the above. The correct answer is B, salt water and fresh water. Here's the next question. Plants that live under the sea provide animals with A, food, B, education, C, protection, D, food and protection. The correct answer is D. Plants that live under the sea provide animals with food and protection. Thank you for playing Know Your Water Habitat! The next habitat we're going to explore is the forest. There are three different kinds of forest habitats, and each forest habitat is home to many different types of plants and animals, like lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my! The first type of forest habitat is called coniferous forest. Coniferous forests are found in the northern regions of the world, on the North American continent, parts of northern Europe, and northern Asia. Trees found in the coniferous forests, like firs and spruce, have dark green needle-shaped leaves that stay green all year. The dark green color of spruce and fir needles helps the foliage absorb the maximum heat from the sun and begin photosynthesis as early as possible. The word coniferous comes from the word cones, because coniferous trees have cones that contain seeds. In coniferous forests, you will find small animals like mice, squirrels, and beavers. The branches of the trees offer shelter to a wide variety of birds, including owls. On the ground, you'll find large animals like moose, the largest member of the deer family. The next type of forest habitat is the temperate forest. Temperate forests are found on the North American continent, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia, too. A temperate forest has four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. In a temperate forest, you'll find deciduous trees like maple, and oak trees. Deciduous trees drop their leaves in the fall or autumn. Other types of plants found in temperate forests include wildflowers and ferns. Animals that live in a temperate forest habitat have adapted to the four seasons in different ways. 
For example, deer can find food in every season, even under the snow. Birds who live in the temperate forest migrate to warmer places in the winter. Squirrels adapt to the seasons too. They store nuts and acorns to eat in the winter. Bears sleep or hibernate through most of the winter. The third type of forest habitat is a rainforest. Rainforests are found in South America, Africa, Malaysia, and Australia. The plants in rainforests grow very quickly and they're adapted to the large amounts of rainfall and the excessive heat that are characteristic of rainforests. In a rainforest, you'll find plants with very broad leaves and trees that grow tall above the shrubs and vines. Animals living in a rainforest have adapted to life among tall plants. There are small animals like tree frogs. Large predators have body colors that help them to hide in the dense foliage. And the bright and colorful macaws blend in with the flowers of the rainforest. In addition, the rainforests have the largest insect population in the world, including one of the largest populations of butterflies. Okay, you're not out of the woods yet. It's time to play Forest Trivia. See if you can answer the following questions. First question. Which of the following is not a type of forest habitat? A. Coniferous forest. B. Rainforest. C. Magic forest. Or D. Temperate forest. If you said coniferous, rain, or temperate forest, you're barking up the wrong tree. The correct answer is... C. Magic forest is not a type of forest habitat. Here's the next question. The leaves of a deciduous tree fall off during what season? A. Winter. B. Autumn. C. Spring. Or D. Summer. The correct answer is B. The leaves of a deciduous tree fall off during the autumn season. Here's our final question. The forest habitat with the largest insect population is the A. Rainforest B. Temperate forest C. Coniferous forest or D. All of the above. The correct answer is A. The forest habitat with the largest insect population is the rainforest. Thank you for playing Forest Trivia! The next habitat we're going to visit is the desert. The desert habitat can support very little life because there is very little precipitation and therefore very little water. When you think of the desert, you might think of a very hot, dry place. But there are actually different types of deserts with different climates. One kind of desert is hot and dry. An example of a hot, dry desert is also the world's largest desert, the Sahara in northern Africa. Another kind of desert is cold and dry, like the Gobi Desert in northern China. Each type of desert has its own plants and animals all of which have adapted to low moisture conditions. In the hot desert, you can find many different cactus species and some plants. A few animals are equipped to survive in a desert biome. A camel can live in a desert because it stores fat in its hump. When food is scarce, the fat stored in the hump allows the camel to survive for two weeks without eating. You'll also find a variety of snakes and strange animals like armadillos. Even though water is scarce, many people choose to live in the desert. One way people have found to live in the desert is to be a nomad, or to be nomadic. Being a nomad means that you have no permanent home. You move from one oasis to another across the desert. Many nomads herd cattle, sheep, or camels. By moving their flock, they prevent overgrazing of the sparse vegetation and exhausting water sources. Many U.S. cities are built in the desert, Las Vegas and Phoenix would not be possible without water sources from hundreds of miles away. Did you know that deserts can be found on every continent? Deserts cover more than one-fifth of the world's land. The 
the next habitat we're going to talk about is called the grasslands. So fire up the rider mower and let's go. We find grasslands in North America and South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, and Australia too. Grasslands are found on every continent except Antarctica. Grasslands are typically large, wide open spaces. Most plants found on the grasslands are grasses. There are very few trees found in the grasslands because there isn't enough rain. In the grasslands of North America, you'll find large animals like buffalo grazing on the plains. In the sky, you will find birds scanning the ground for small animals like rabbits. The grasslands afford animals very few places to hide from danger. Rabbits that live in the plains have adapted to life in the grasslands by having the ability to move very quickly. You'll also find a strange animal called a marmot who digs furrows for protection from predators. On the grasslands of Australia, you'll find wallabies, a relative of the kangaroo. While in Southwest Asia, you'll find a fast running but flightless bird, the ostrich. In Africa, there are large grazing animals such as elephants. Elephants have adapted to the grassland habitat. The elephant's long trunk is very effective for carrying large amounts of water that can be transferred to other places during times of drought. Elephants have sharp tusks to protect themselves from predators such as lions. Okay, it's time to play that non-allergenic, green and sassy, soft and grassy game, Know Your Grass Habitat. Here's your first question. Most plants found on the grasslands are A. Maple trees B. Grasses C. Daisies or D. Pine trees The correct answer is B. Most plants found on the grasslands are grasses. Here's the next question. Rabbits, kangaroos, and ostriches have adopted the lack of hiding places in grasslands. They have the ability to A. Fly low B. Move quickly C. Eat grass or D. Stand still The correct answer is B. They have the ability to move quickly. Here's your final question. Grasslands are found on every continent except A. Antarctica B. South America C. Europe or D. North America and Asia The correct answer is A. Grasslands are found on every continent except Antarctica The next habitat we're going to visit is the tundra. It's a place that is cold, windy, and dry. Sounds like fun. The tundra is found in North America, Greenland, and parts of Northern Europe and Northern Asia. The word tundra comes from a Finnish word which means barren land. It was considered barren because there were no trees on the tundra. But there are some plants that have adapted to the cold and bleak habitat. Those plants are mosses, grasses, and small shrubs. The tundra habitat offers very little shelter from the weather. However, some animals do live on the tundra. They include caribou, seals, brown bears, and a variety of unusual birds. Some animals who live on the tundra have adapted to the seasonal changes of their habitat by changing the way they look. For example, the Arctic hare protects itself by changing to a lighter colored fur in the winter. The light colored fur helps it to blend in with the ice and snow to protect it from predators. Okay, now it's time for Tundra Trivia! Here's the first question. Tundra is a Finnish word that means a. Bad land B. Barren land C. Vacation land or D. Land of no return The correct answer is B. Tundra is a Finnish word that means barren land Next question Most plants that live on the tundra are A. 
grasses, shrubs, and mosses, B, fruits and vegetables, C, deciduous and coniferous trees, or D, none of the above? The correct answer is A. Most plants that live on the tundra are grasses, shrubs, and mosses. Okay, now it's time to put on your hat and mittens to explore the coldest habitat on Earth, the polar regions. Polar regions are found at the northernmost part of the Earth, called the North Pole and at the southernmost part of the world, the South Pole. These two areas have very cold climates and are covered by ice and snow. There are very few plants, and the animals who do live in the polar regions have changed and developed so they are able to survive in this harsh, cold habitat. We call the changes made by any plant or animal in order to survive in an environment an adaptation. For example, in the northern polar regions, polar bears have developed insulating fur. That's an adaptation. Animals like seals have developed extra body fat called blubber to help stay warm. That's an adaptation too. The southern polar region called Antarctica is home to emperor penguins. Emperor penguins are birds that have adapted to the harsh polar conditions. To find food, penguins have become great swimmers because they find their food in the ocean. Okay, we have visited just about every part of the world and have taken a brief look at the animals and plants that live in each type of habitat. We've seen how animals and plants have adapted to the habitats they live in. Habitats offer the plants and animals that live in them the food and shelter they need to survive. Plants and animals have all made adaptations to allow them to survive in their habitats, whether that may be in the tundra, a forest, a grassland region, a desert, a water habitat, or even a polar region. Habitats are way cool.